Another interesting thing that Hashem said about the animals, about kosher animals, that we didn't talk about in the last year, is that He wanted us to identify the kosher animal from the outside because that's easy for us to, to know, easy for us to identify. But there's also internal signs inside the animals. Now, according to Judaism, in order for an animal to be allowed for us, to be permitted for us to eat them, they have to be slaughtered in a kosher way. A slaughtered in a kosher way means that the animal cannot suffer, even for one second. Now, if you look at a slaughter from the outside and you're not familiar with slaughtering, it, slaughtering looks really horrendous. It doesn't look like it's not painful, but it's actually scientific proof that it's not painful. All of the non-kosher animals, including mankind, have all of the blood at some point travels from the heart to the brain. Now someone is considered alive as long as there's blood going to the brain. As soon as the blood stops going to the brain, you're considered dead. It's not if the blood stops going to the heart. That's just a heart attack and Bezot Hashem somebody gets back. But as soon as there's no longer any more blood going to the brain, you're considered clinically dead. So now, as soon as we disconnect the blood from the brain of the animal, the animal is officially dead, meaning that it's no longer functioning, it's, it dies within a matter of less than a second. Now all of the animals have two veins that connect to the brain, on the bottom of their neck and on the top of their neck, which means that regardless, if, let's say for example, if this is the head of a horse, that means that there will be a vein on the bottom and a vein on the top. Even if we cut the vein, if we slaughter it on the bottom, there's still going to be blood coming from the top. Which means that until all the blood comes out of the bottom, he's still going to be alive and he's still going to suffer. He's going to, he's going to feel the pain because he's still alive. There's still blood going to the brain from the top. So this means that there's no clean way to slaughter a horse or a camel or so on. But if you look at the kosher animals, if you look at the cow, you look at the lamb, you look at the ones that were allowed to eat, the deer. There's only a few animals. There's a very unique thing about their creation. They also have two veins. But right before they get to the brain, both of the veins connect and become a single vein. Which means that when the rabbi slaughters the animal, he's only cutting one vein. And by the time the remaining blood goes from the end of the brain from where you cut to the uh, brain, the animal is already dead. Which means that scientifically, it has never felt pain. If the animal feels pain, it's no longer kosher. So again, this is something that we wouldn't have known 3,300 years ago, unless God told us. And Hashem is telling us that if we have this kosher food, then we can learn His Torah, then we can connect to Him.